Although the Earth is a combination of continents and oceans, there is another significant feature which cannot be ignored. That is, deserts. Out of all the deserts in the world, there is one that remains more famous than the others. And that is, the Sahara Desert. It is the largest and the hottest desert in the world. It was named by the Arab conquerors of North Africa in the 7th century. It entails Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Western Sahara, Sudan, and Tunisia. Its covered area is 9.2 million square kilometers. In this video, we will attempt to look closely at the Sahara Desert and get to know more about it. But before we do just that, take a moment to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon. Let's begin. The sky is usually very clear above the desert, the sun throws its rays extremely high on it, and the humidity is very low there. The Sahara Desert endures less than 1 inches of downpour annually. That is why it is considered to be the hottest desert with the harshest climate, with an average temperature of 30 degrees, which goes up to 58 degrees during daytime, despite that it gets cold at night. In general, the desert has a huge potential for solar energy production. The landscape of the Sahara Desert is assorted with 25% sand dunes height of 500 feet, rocky terrain, mountains, barren, salt flats, and dry valleys. There are 20 salt lakes and only one freshwater lake called Chad Lake can be found in Sahara Desert. The ecoregion covers the middle portion of the desert due to less rainfall and rare vegetation. Keep in mind, everything about the Sahara Desert, it should not be overlooked that it is a home of wildlife including camels, desert foxes, gerbil, gerboa, cape hare, desert hedgehogs, barbary sheep, baboons, common jackals, slender mongoose, sand cats, and African wild dogs. The most dangerous scorpion, which is 10 centimeters long, lives there. The Saharan ant, which is very unique as a threat for predators that comes out from its nest only for 10 minutes per day. Apart from these, 500 species of plants, including acacia trees, palm, succulents, spiny shrubs, and grasses can also be instituted in the desert, which is very low according to the area. 11,000 years ago, it was not a desert, but full of plant life. People used to live on the edge of the Sahara Desert several years ago. Around 10,000 years ago, in the central Sahara, engraved and painted rock art were created by different civilizations. At that time, it was a home of several civilizations and animals due to wetter place unlike today. Fossils, rock art, stone artifacts, bone harpools, shells, and many other items have been found in areas which today are considered too hot and dry to inhabit. This culture was between 10,000 and 8,000 years ago in the desert, and they were skilled hunters. Kivians were tall, almost 6 feet in height. In the Tanir Desert in Nigeria, the human remains were found at the site of Gobero in 2000. Bones of enormous animals were discovered shows they lived near the shores of the lake, a time when the Sahara was wet. Investigation shows that Kifian culture perished after 8,000 years ago, as the Sahara went through a dry period for several years. In 2000, two prehistoric cultures were discovered, Kifian culture, Tanarian culture. Denarian people are very short in height and less strong and muscular than the Kifians. After the archaeological discoveries, it was found that Tenarians observed spiritual traditions as they were buried with their artifacts, like jewelry made of hippo tusks and clay pots. The most engrossing discovery is a triple burial, a man and a woman and two kids, with the ages 5 and 8 years old while hugging each other evaluated with their teeth. The remainder shows that these three died after each other within 24 hours and their skeletons had no trauma. But if they died with any disease, then their death is still a mystery. It was inhabited from 6 millennium BCE to 2700 BCE, but not continuously. The most captivating unearthing is a well-preserved mummy of a 2.5 years old boy, in a fetal condition. The boy's organs were removed, which as evidenced by incisions in his stomach and thorax and an organic preservative was inserted to stop his body from decomposing. The age of the mummy is around 5,600 years old. In 1958 to 1959, an archaeologist, Antonio Essenzi, conducted a different analysis on the mummy and it was claimed that the mummy was a 30 years old child with uncertain gender with a dark skin complexion. Pre-dynastic Egyptians were herding cattle and constructing large buildings. 
Egypt, by the middle of the 6th millennium BCE centered predominantly on cereal and animal agriculture. Cattle, goats, pigs and sheep. Metal objects replaced prior ones of stone. Stone arrowheads, knives and scrappers are also found. Burial items included pottery, jewelry, farming and hunting equipment and assorted foods including dried meat and fruit. Burial in the desert showed Egyptian preservation rites and the dead were buried facing west. Tichet culture at Dar Nema, Dar Tagant, Dar Tichet and Dar Velada included a four-tiered hierarchical social structure. Farming of cereals, metallurgy, numerous funerary tombs and a rock art tradition. Farming of crops may have been a feature of the Tichet cultural tradition as early as 3rd millennium BCE in Dar Tichet. At Dar Velada and Dar Tichet, copper was also used. The iron materials that were found are evidence of iron metal working at Dar Tichet. In the late period of the Tichet tradition at Dar Nema, tamed pearl millet was used to temper the tiers of an oval-shaped low-shaft furnace. This furnace was one of out of 16 iron furnaces located on elevated ground. These people flourished from 1200 to 800 BCE, created a chain of settlements along the coast of North Africa, and traded with its inhabitants. This put them in contact with the people of ancient Libyan ancestors who used to speak Berber languages in North Africa and the Sahara today. The periplus of the Phoenician navigator Hanno, who lived in the 5th century BC, claims that he founded settlements along the Atlantic coast of Africa. The identification of the places still has controversies. In 500 BCE, Greeks arrived in the desert. Greek traders spread along the eastern coast of the desert and established trade along the Red Sea. Central Straits were surrounded by the desert on the north and east. It remained out of control of these states. Raids from the nomadic Berber people of the desert were a threat to those living on the edge of the desert. There were several trade routes in the Sahara Desert, which put the people of the Sahara in contact with the expanding number of cultures and trading styles. At the end of 8th century, those trade routes became famous between Europe and Asia. The sands of the Sahara Desert were a major obstacle to trade between Africa, Europe and the East. But it was like a sandy sea with ports of trade on either sides. Muslim traders from North Africa used to transport goods such as textiles, silks, beads, ceramics, ornamental weapons and utensils across the Sahara with large caravans, about 1,000 camels. And it is recorded that caravans traveling between Egypt and Sudan had 12,000 camels. These camels were the main source of transportation because they can survive for a long time without water. Also, they can bear the heat of desert during daytime and the cold at night. Also, camels double rows of eyelashes protect their eyes from the sand and the sun. Camels can carry hundreds of pounds of goods easily. They can also close their nostrils to keep the sand out. The saddles were introduced by the Berbers, which allowed the rider to carry large loads of goods over long distances. People kept looking for ways to improve the saddle to hold heavier loads of goods. Caravans moved at about 3 miles per hour, and it took them 40 days to cross the Sahara Desert. Nomads used to trade in salt, meat, cloth, gold, cereal, and enslaved people. Muslim traders living in West Africa were known as wealthy merchants. In a nutshell, without animals, trading across the desert is impossible. The Sahara Desert is a remarkable place with an unforgettable history, with a huge ecosystem, plant life, and a harsh climate. It has fascinated researchers in different times with hidden treasures. It also has a vast and economical trade network for different countries. And on that note, let's end this video right here. Take a moment to like and subscribe and ring the bell icon before leaving us to stay tuned about the next video. See you in another video.